Sunday morning, uh, May 26th, maybe? Yes, hey, I got it right. 10.42 a.m. And I have my R apron on. I've been doing the social media thing and put another, another and hopefully final coat on one of the two resin glitter tumblers I'm working on right now. And uh, Mr. Fred is outside doing some maintenance and cleaning on the small pond and fountain uh, that we have in the backyard. Um, I don't think it's been cleaned or maintained in a really long time. Certainly not since we've been here in September, bad on us, but I think since long before then. So he, we went out yesterday and got a bunch of parts and things he needs and now he's out there pumping out the water and cleaning it and we borrowed my dad's pressure pressure washer so he could clean all the algae off and everything like that so anyway it's quiet Sunday ahead we need to go out and get some birthday cards so that Tuesday I can mail out some birthday presents but I think other than that um, we are just staying home and relaxing we have family coming over tomorrow we're gonna be barbecuing and some of them are helping us put in the last of the new outdoor lights. Um, we got some new landscape lighting, which means Tuesday or Wednesday I'll also be making a trip to Habitat for Humanity with a donation because we'll be donating the old fixtures, so if they're donatable. So, yeah, it's a nice quiet Sunday, but I think that's a good thing. I did finally, late last night, um, replace my downstairs uh, water brush. I do like the Pentel Aquash water brushes. I've liked them for a long time. I have this one that's from downstairs. Can you all see that? I've trimmed it so many times. I've dipped it in hot water to fix the bristles. I think it's finally past it. So I grabbed another one from my stash. This is the large size, which is my preference generally, at least for the daily drawing stuff that I do, um, the large or the medium. I happen to be really low on the large ones, so I need to order some of those. Um, or go to Dick Blick and get some. The kids got me a Dick Blick gift card for Christmas. I'm for Christmas, holy cow. Uh, for Mother's Day. So I might go over there at some point this week and see if they have them before I order anything. And I also could use a little more resin. I think I'm just about out again. So, yeah. Exciting times, I know. <laughs> it's all about avoiding paperwork and non-fun things, right? Anyway, um, I always have projects to do, so I'm trying to do them. I'm going to be sitting later this afternoon, I think, while we're, we have downtime. Because, again, I don't think we're doing too much. So I'm going to be working on some new stamp and stencil designs, hopefully. Cross your fingers. And um, getting those done. I had to send out a couple emails. And I need to do stencil inventory. So I need to do that, too. Maybe stamp, stamp inventory. So, like I said, non-fun things. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. See, Fred. You're slacking, Fred. Fred's been doing other things today. Fred's been fixing that. Fred's, Fred's yeah, the pond's all clean and working. Yeah. New filters. Yeah. No algae. It doesn't smell bad now. It doesn't smell bad. Power washed all the rocks. Got rid of all the old <coughs> branches and dead leaves as much as I could. Yep. It's Monday, May 27th, I think. Well, it is Memorial Day um, here in the United States. A holiday in which we celebrate and honor those who have lost their lives in service to our country and our communities. So all of you who have done that, um, especially those who have lost their lives, 
um, or are doing that currently, we thank you for your service. Anyway, I'm out here checking on Bambi, and Bambi hasn't been by in a while, but I'm guessing it's because things are pretty green and there's probably a plentiful amount of food so they don't need to come over here. That's what I'm choosing to hope is going on. <laughs> uh, anyway, I do think I'm going to pick up some of these little white flowers. You see these? I think I'm going to take a few of them upstairs and see if I can dry them. So that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. quick good morning everyone it is Tuesday morning May 28th I've already been crazy busy and active for a bit this morning it is just after 10 o'clock I've already been in and out of the house this morning posted to social media uh, sent off a birthday present to somebody it's just been a crazy morning already it's only 10 o'clock um, <laughs> quickest in and out of the grocery store I think I've ever done in and out 30 minutes and my list was not super small um, you know <laughs> my butt and my back hurt from spending the day in the chair video editing I did get the other cup started the other tumbler um, I got it started last night and I put the second coat on it today after uh, the cleaning lady left. I do have somebody that helps me keep the house clean because this is a really big house. Um, anyway, she was here. Um, the other cup, I was just watching the vlog. The other cup turned out okay. Um, this is it. You can see there on camera, can you see that upper edge right here? There's a bump there. I guess the spinner wasn't as level as I thought it was, so it's got a rim around the upper edge, uh, like a bump. My friend Carla McCants, she does... These, she's a pro at these. She's done a, a lot more of them than I have. Um, that's really the only thing wrong with the cup, but you know what? I don't think it bothers me enough to fix it, so I'm gonna leave it. It's up in the cabinet. Um, so I started the second one, and we'll see how that goes. I'm just playing with putting chunky glitter on the tumblers, and I love the way it looks, but it's a pain in the ass. So, you know, but I love, I love glitter, so. No, don't send me a bunch of glitter. I've got plenty. It's not really good for the environment. I love how sparkly it is, but I wish they'd come up with a biodegradable alternative. But then if they did, it wouldn't work for all of us mixed media artists who want to mix it with something wet because it would dissolve. So, you know, catch 22. Anyway, I'm going to stretch my knees a little bit, walk around because, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go check on Bambi's bowls. I don't think I did today, so I need to do that. Um, video is rendering. I almost forgot to edit the vlog. Oops. Um, so video is editing, uh, rendering, and then I'll get that one loaded to YouTube tonight, too, so it'll air in the morning. And um, tomorrow I'm going to uh, work on some filming projects and try to get some of that done. Um, I think I'm gonna have something um, light for dinner. I'm gonna either have salad or I'll have a egg salad sandwich, which I know doesn't sound really light, but the way I make it with just one egg and very little mayonnaise and lots of greens and whole grain seed br bread with seeds in it, it's actually pretty good for you. And I've got plenty of calories left in the day for that. Um, I almost took all of that out of the vlog last week. Um, so if you're watching this, if you haven't seen last week's, you can go watch it, but I almost took all that out, but yeah, so anyway, obviously I'm not a thin girl. I've never have been really, not since I was like eight maybe, uh, but that doesn't mean I can't try to be healthier. So I do want to work on that and I'm done with being stressed out because we moved ready for the next thing, right? All right. So anyway, I'm going to go check on Bambi and then I'm going to start laundry because that's a thing and we seem to always need laundry done. I don't know. All right, I'll be Good back. morning. It's Tuesday. Tuesday, hello. Holy cow. Wednesday morning, May 29th, I think. 9.25 a.m. I should know this because I did literally just check the, com uh, the, com the phone, the computer. The phone. Well, it is a computer. Anyway. 
Can you tell I'm scattered this morning? I'm trying to avoid having a third cup of coffee. It's really not good for me to drink that much coffee. Um, so I'm going to go out and run a couple errands instead. I need to get some more fruit. I'm gonna go to New Seasons. I like their produce and fruit section and we need some fruit, we need some tomatoes and things like that. So I'm gonna go do that this morning. I may pop, of course, pop into Michael's uh, really quick. It's like two doors down. Um, I wanna see if they have um, a particular art part so I want to see if they have that there and like just go get some steps in get out of the house a little bit I already did the social media thing and chatted with my friends this morning and uh, yeah so let's go get to it shall we and maybe I can get some art journaling and or video filming done today uh, and I have a cup upstairs that I turned off um, it needs another coat of resin uh, and a little sanding. Um, this one isn't lumpy and bumpy like the other one. Yes. Anyway, um, all right, let's get to it. I'll be back. It's turning out to be a kind of a nice, bright, sunny yet overcast day. Can you be both of those things at the same time? Went and ran my errands and came back and had lunch. And then I just wanted to take a nap. <laughs> Anyway, the sun finally did come out. We've got some beautiful blue skies going on. Birds are singing. Planes are flying. <laughs> um, anyway, got the vegetables watered, so we're gonna go back inside. Hopefully I didn't lock myself out of the house again. Yeah, cause that's a thing. Yay, I didn't, woohoo! Good morning. It's a ridiculous hour of the morning. 6.55 a.m. May 30th, according to the iPad. I'm working on my second cup of coffee and I have my protein bar out here in front of me. I did think it was important this morning to get on um, the vlog early to share a video and channel I'm going to link in the description below. Um, the channel name is Dots to Lines and the name of the video is An Initiative to Encourage Fellow Artists and to Foster a Community Spirit. Hashtag Encourage Fellow Artists. Hashtag Stop YouTube Bullying. Um, for those of you who do YouTube and are subscribers to my channels and fellow YouTube creators, you know exactly by reading the title, what she's talking about. Um, we've all been there. How many times have you had discussions with your fellow creators about what, if anything, we can do about it? Really, we can't do anything. <laughs> um, except be a kinder community, a more positive community, and more constructive in our criticism when we do have it. Um, all good things. And I love her message. I agree with her that we need to be kinder to each other and to ourselves. And I am not above criticism. Um, it helps me grow. Your suggestions help me grow and learn and move forward in my art and creativity. And I love that. Um, but harsh, unnecessarily mean comments serve no purpose. And we need to stop. And so I encourage you all to go over to her channel, show her some love, watch the video, and share your own kindness towards your own fellow creatives, your own fellow artists, and your own uh, YouTubers. If you're a YouTuber, um, share some of the love in your little YouTube community, your circle of friends. So anyway, that's my little speech for this morning. Did it make any sense? Because I've only had one cup of coffee, so I'm not actually sure. If it didn't, go watch her video. All right, that's it for the moment. I need to finish my coffee, I'll be back. So, I'm in the car, obviously. I'm gonna go run a couple of errands. I, I wanted to say really quick that in the old house, in the old space, both physically and in my head, whatever it was about that place, physically and emotionally and mentally, I frequently didn't wanna leave the house and it was really a struggle to make myself go out of the house and go do things and when I 
sort of half jokingly smile and say, you know, I'm probably, you know, borderline agoraphobic. I, I'm not really kidding. I do have to say in the new house and the new space, mentally and physically, it's not really that much of a struggle. Do the old emotions try to rear their ugly head? Well, sure. If you don't believe me, look at today's um, social media post, uh, Creative Wanderings, which is in A Life of Art and Self-Expression, along with Art Joy of Sharing, Leslie's Creative Studio, and Artsy Endeavors, all Facebook groups. Um, and it talks about not wanting to leave the house and being frustrated when you can't find what you want. And that is partially true and will always be true. And some of that's just out of frustration because I'm usually looking for something specific that people don't have. Anyway, it isn't anymore that much of a struggle for me to leave the house and go out into the world. Um... I don't know what it is about the new space, but I look on that as a positive thing. Sometimes the old voice tries to be there and go, no, you should stay home today. But it's not, doesn't take that much for me to go, you know, I'm gonna get showered and dressed and I'm gonna get out of the house. And so we're gonna do that today. I do, I am looking for resin and I went to the normal Michaels I usually go to, which is near um, the two supermarkets I like to shop at, New Seasons and Fred Meyer. and for whatever reason, despite the fact that their website and inventory said they should have almost a whole case of it, they had none. So I'm going to hit one more Michaels, uh, which happens to be near Dick Blick. I did get a gift card for Mother's Day from the kids for from Dick Blick. Thank you, Rebecca and Paulius. So um, we are going to go to that Michaels in Beaverton, which is actually not, I don't think, too far from their apartment and um, see if they have it and then stop at Dick Blick. Um, one of the two of them should have it. I hesitate to use my gift card for resin, but if I need to, I need to, I've got it. Um, if neither one of them has it, I'll just order it. But I don't have a problem with getting out of the house and going for a little drive this morning. It's 9.08 a.m. by the way. And I am going to go do that and then I'm gonna come home and I pulled out my husband's palm sander and we're gonna sand the cups because the two two glitter cups are very bumpy. And the one that I put up in the cabinet, I, I might try to sand it. It's kind of bothering me. I'm gonna have trouble leaving it bumpy. So we'll see what happens. It all, of course, depends on whether or not I can get resin. Because it's one thing to scratch it up and sand it if I can put resin over it and hide the scratches. But if I can't, that's another issue. So, yeah, let's get to it. Turns out the Beaverton Michaels is near the Mill End Fabric Store that I've been trying to get to. Can you say sidetracked? Because, yeah, I might need to pop in Michaels really quick and then walk over to the Mill End store if it's open. All right, I'll be back. <music> Okay, that Michael store is easily, there we go, <laughs> two or three times the size of the Tualatin store. Holy cow, and did you see those pictures of the clearance section in the back of the store? It was gigantic. It almost as big as my arts and crafts room. Holy moly. All right, so now we're gonna see if we can get into the Mill End store. Don't know what to expect, but we'll find out. Looks like they open at 10 o'clock. We gotta wait like five minutes. I can do that. Okay, so the Mill End Fabric Store, that's a cool place. I guess there's two of them. Um, I'll put the um, link to their website in the description below. If you're in the Beaverton, Oregon area, and the other one was in Milwaukee, Oregon, I think she said. Um, really cool place. They have a nice wide variety of fabric. Um, it's more of an old-fashioned fabric store, which I love. It's not fabric and crafts. It's just fabric and it's also just not quilting fabric it's dressmaking fabric which I love that um, they also are adjacent the one here in Beaverton is adjacent to a sewing machine sales and repair place which is great because if my husband has any difficulty replacing the dead light bulb in the serger or anything like that um, I can just bring them here and have them worked on that's wonderful um, so yeah, I'll be back. I did find four um, knits um, that I'm going to make some more of the tank top undershirts out of. I found a real pretty um, aqua blue. 
um, two different colors of gray. One is like a gray heather with the black streaks in it. Um, a, sort of a purple heather um, and then a black which I've been looking for a good black one and so I didn't find any good stretch lace. They did have some and they had a huge selection of stretch lace but most of it was this wide. So I need like two inches, not this. So I did find a source on Amazon and I did already order white, black, and gray. So we'll see what that looks like when it comes in and if it looks like it's something that might work then I will um, order a couple of other colors that might work with the other fabrics I got. Otherwise I'll just make them without and make them a little longer. That'll work too. Um, yeah, so let's head over to Dick Blick while we're in the area and I'll be back. morning it is Friday morning May 31st 9 14 a.m. according to the stove can you see how shiny my face is can you tell I just lotioned up my skin yeah that's a thing when I was younger I had oily skin and now I'm post menopause and yeah dry skin yep we've had this discussion on YouTube before <laughs> uh, anyway there's an Intervals of Sanity broadcast where we discuss menopause in sort of semi-graphic detail, so you can go over there. I'll try to find it and link it below. It's a funny episode. Um, anyway, I am working on my last cup of coffee. I already pulled today's positive affirmation cards downstairs and um, lit my incense today. I'm going to go upstairs and empty trash cans and then go check on Bambi's food, so I'll be back. You hear that obnoxious sound? Yeah, I'm making stickers. So I was inspired to do some um, um, art um, by Creation CC, and I'll link her channel in the description below if you haven't heard of her and haven't seen any of her videos. Oops, wait, there we go. Um, anyway, with her permission, because I did ask first, I told her I was inspired by her video to create some work, and it was it okay to copy the work and um, create a PDF down, digital download and some stickers from it and things for the Etsy shop. She said, of course, I showed her what I did. She said, of course, it was fine. So that's what I'm doing today, which is why that's going off in the background. I also have a new or second stencil supplier. And um, I don't know if all of the stencil inventory is going to come from there at this moment, but um, as long as they're available to cut stencils, I think a lot of it will. The quality isn't um, um, better or worse. It's the same quality, I think, of stencil. The difference is um, it's in the U.S., so it's a little cheaper for me to get it with shipping. And also, um, the artist's name and model is etched into the edge of the stencil. I don't know about you guys, but I love that. Um, so that's a cool thing. Um, I will be um, working on um, replacing inventory on some designs that are out of stock. I also have some new prototypes coming and uh, more modern atomic um, designs coming. So cross your fingers, they'll be here soon, probably from the new supplier. Um, faster than the old one um, just because they're from overseas so I don't know we'll see what happens all right I'll be back because like that's noisy it's not just Bambi coming to eat there's one at the bowl now but he had a friend there a minute ago we got the squirrel family hmm and they like to bury the kernels yeah oh do you see the other one he's there by the rock behind the bush yeah they're burying the kernels around the forest and yard so we have corn stalks coming up <laughs> oh boy good saturday morning everyone it is june 1st it is 5 42 a.m um, I've been up since the butt crack of dawn, as we used to call it, when I was still working as a retail merchandiser. 
Um, yeah, so I just dropped my husband off at the airport. He's headed back to California for the day um, for some, actually a very dear friend's birthday party. Um, he's turning 60 and uh, Andy, his name is Andy. And uh, anyway, Andy is one of the two people responsible for me meeting Bob and Bob meeting me um, in the first place. So he's a dear friend. So um, anyway, he'll be back late tonight. So I just dropped him off at the airport and we're going to head home because I desperately need another cup of coffee before I do anything else today. So let's get to it. It's 9.42 a.m. and I'm headed over to Michael's to get... Um, a round little container of some sort. So June is Artist Trading Card Month over in the Facebook group, Our Joy of Sharing. So if you'd like to join us, join us over there. Um, and I'll be making an ATC coin a day um, for the month of June. Um, it's Artist Trading Card Month, but I'm gonna do Artist Trading Coins. Why? Because I punched out a bunch of Artist Trading coin, coin parts before I moved in September and never did anything with them. So turn left onto Southwest to Marlton Road. Thank you, sure. Thank you, Jeeves. So I think it's about time I do something with them, don't you? So <laughs> I have the idea to do 30 days worth of coins and then put them in a, like a tin container or something. So I in 1.5 miles, turn left onto Southwest to Marlton Road. So I'm headed over to the Michaels in Tualatin, by the way. Um, so anyway, yep. I am going to go get that done and then, I don't know, I'm, I'm on my own for the day, so we'll see what happens. I'll be back. Alright, so it's been a pretty good first day of June. It is 6.36 in the evening on Saturday, June 1st. I am headed back to the airport to go pick up my husband at the airport and, you know, I've had a pretty good day. Caught up on a few projects up in the art room. I got my June uh, 1st ATC done for Art Joy of Sharing's Facebook group. We are all um, doing um, artist trading cards um, this month. Um, I will include the hashtag for the artist trading card um, pro uh, project this month in the title and description. Um, and also uh, the link for the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group. It's a free place that we share creative inspiration and instruction. There's a new mentorship program going on over there um, also, um, which is really fabulous. And I'm actually thinking about doing it in a life of art and self-expression, and I wanna to talk to the girls about doing it in my creative year. So if you have any opinions on the mentorship um, option that's now newly available at Facebook, let us know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you would like to join our joy of sharing the link is in the description below Here's my picture for my first ATC Card for June you'll notice it's round <laughs> a normal ATC artist trading card is or otherwise known as an ATC is two and a half inches by three and a half inches uh, Rectangle I am doing an artist trading coin, which is two and a half inches round um, I already had them punched out and cut from before I moved in September. I intended to work on them during the move to keep me sane and I just never did. So I've got them already punched out so we're going to use them, right? <sighs> anyway, I think it turned out pretty good and I'm going to fill up a jar um, this month with coins and we'll see how far I get. Um, here's a picture of the jar. Anyway, it was a lot of fun today and I got caught up on a number, number of project projects which was good and sort of got the table cleaned but not really. Yeah. Um, anyway. Um, so it's been a good day, but um, now we're over for the week. I'm going to go get my husband at the airport, and um, yeah, that'll be it for today and for this week. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course, leave them in the comments below on this video. Um, if you would like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in Facebook in my creative year and a life of art and self-expression, I would certainly appreciate that, although it's not required. Uh, the links, um, many links on where you can do that. There's different options. There's Amazon affiliate stores. There's...
Patreon. There is merch over at Teespring and Society6 and Spoonflower and my Etsy shop. There's a PayPal tip jar. There's a lot of different places you can do it. There's also social media sites that you can just follow me on if that's all you want to do. Follow me on Instagram. All of those links and more are in my link tree list of links, which is in the description below in the video, along with my happy mail address if you'd like to send me happy mail. Go out and like, share, and subscribe this video and show a smaller YouTuber some love this week. If you have a small YouTuber that you really enjoy this week and this month, I would really appreciate you sharing their YouTube name in the comments below and um, let's see what we can do about supporting our fellow YouTubers and our fellow creatives. That would be a great thing. The most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. I got to hit the road.